Well, the water trail, um, as we call it, uh, was first conceived uh, when we did our uh, easy cooler development. We went to investigate um, how coolers were sanitized uh, across the industry and found that it really was quite um, a, an, an arduous process. We came up with the idea of um, a disposable system of not cleaning the, 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 the water cooler but simply replacing it. The first water trail we came up with was actually a flexible bag but all the elements there of the first wa of, 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 of the water cooler you have the reservoir, uh, you have the dispense valves which are just a piece of silicon tube, you have the interface with the, um, the bottle uh, um, and the air valve and the air filter um, and it, in its direct form it means that every water contact part of the cooler is replaced when you change it so as far as the water is concerned replacing the water trail gives you a brand new cooler because the reservoir is below the, the, the outlet of the, of the of the water when it's in situation, um, the, the reservoir never empties. Once the bottle's emptied, the reservoir remains full, so you replace the bottle, you've still got cold water ready to dispense. Whereas um, a regular cooler, you would empty the bottle on the top of the cooler, you would then empty the reservoir, and the cooler would have no water in it. So when you replace the bottle, you would have to wait 20 or 30 minutes for the water to cool down again to get a cold drink. Whereas the EBAC cooler was had a always had a cold drink as soon as you replaced the, the bottle. One of our um, latest water trails, which is out of our which is out of our FMAX cooler, um, you can see there's some stark differences. First of all we've gone to a, um, a semi-rigid reservoir. We have it fully integrated now with the manifold area so that there's, there's less orientation required. And we have the dispense area, the dispense nozzle, uh, which, which is rigid again so that we have plugs and sockets. So literally dropping it in the top now takes probably something like 10 to 15 seconds. I believe with this product it's quite feasible to ask end users to, to change the water trail.